Breaking news at noon, a hero teacher who took down a gunman inside North Thurston High School. We heard the first shot. And then another. Everyone was calling everyone. Some people were crying. As students ran in panic, police swarmed the campus. The shots rang out just before classes were set to begin at North Thurston High School in Lacey. Right about 745 this morning, that's when that teacher jumped into action, saving the day. Kyra 7's Joanna Small joins us live. She's been talking with students there on campus. Right, John, we're learning that it was Brady Olson, a teacher who has nine years with the North Thurston High School, who tackled that gunman. Police say he was a 16 year old boy who transferred to the school about a month ago. Parents and students we talked to right here just moments after those shots were fired told us they are obviously considering Mr. Olson a hero. I heard a few gunshots and there was a kid laying on the ground. Hundreds of students heard what happened inside North Thurston High School, but senior Daniel Lamoni saw the aftermath. The shooter held down by his civics teacher, Brady Olson. I respect him and uh, this makes me have a little bit more respect for him now that he risked his life for, for everybody. Daniel ran into a classroom. So did many others. We ran down the main hallway. We took a hallway off to the right and we went out to the welding room. All the way to nearby Lowe's where the store locked students inside. I still thought my friends were just messing with me, but then I just saw people sprinting out the front and out the back and it was just, it was pretty scary. Hours later, parents came here to the football field to be reunited with their kids, grateful but still in shock. I feel relieved. I still feel a lot of adrenaline going. As prepared and as you think you can be, you're not. And I'm just glad that she's home. They're all thanking Brady Olson. It's absolutely heroic. I mean, I I don't know what I would do in that situation. If I was right next to him, I, I don't know. I just think I'd freeze up. I just, I don't know what I'd do. And I think it's very, very brave of him to do that. Yeah, I am really proud of him. Absolutely. Now, right now, we're working to learn more information about this teen who was arrested, including a possible motive. We are also working to learn more about Brady Olson, who teaches government and politics here, according to the school's website. In a half hour, we will be back here live with you again with an interview with a student who actually saw that shooter and his gun just moments before those shots were fired. But for now, live in Lacey, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. I spoke with a former Pierce County SWAT team member who now trains people in crisis management. Jesus Villahermosa had high praise for how everyone responded to the shooting. He said the lockdown was the right move and the students reacted the right way. The power of the voice. It was great to hear that students as they ran were telling people there's a shooter, there's a shooter, someone's shooting. And they were telling other kids to run if they could. Good job for North Thurston School District uh, for responding the way they did. And they, they had a really good response plan, by the well, with their reunification point uh, um, and getting parents to where they needed to get them rather than bringing them to the school during the crisis.